I'm playing Super Mario 64 in 1080p on an HDTV. Find out how and why to record pretty much any console in HD coming up. Hi, I'm Evan Davis, and I hope you add some music to your day. Add some, add some music, just add some music to Back in the day, I used to be a bit of a gamer, you know, and with that, uh, I can tell you some of the stereotypes are a little bit true. Used to be a lot lazier than I am now. Are the video games to blame? Uh, who knows? There's definitely some sort of a correlation there. But I tell you one thing that did get me active back when I was gaming, besides achievement hunting on Xbox platforms, was figuring out how to get this stuff to work. This is the second iteration of two sort of massive gaming setups I had. The first was tucked away in the closet, basically on a you know old huge TV and that was uh, primarily you know with an AV output I used to be a let's player right I had a, a, a bad YouTube channel to pri playing primarily Nintendo games including Super Mario 64 which I played through twice because I wasn't able to pretty much uh, stick through and finish anything else because even though I was a gamer well, I wasn't a very talented one right I, I think uh, some of those old videos still have their charm but regardless you know I was exporting out to AV recording in essentially you know less than HD Right, and, and so this is like a very classic YouTube, right? Kid in the closet, recording himself, playing games, you know, no webcam, nothing. Just straight up, hey listen, I'm playing Mario, come along, I'm going to tell you about my life, however uninteresting it was, you know, back in the 8th grade. And uh, it sort of evolved from there, you know. I, of course, wanted to take everything out of the closet, and I wanted to start playing it on the TV, because you know, also as uh, we were coming to the turn of me getting into high school, that's when also a lot more of the, the modern consoles were coming out, right? The Xbox One, and you know, you're not going to play your Xbox One on a TV that's not huge, right? You know, it's HD, right? Ooh, the best graphics ever at the time. Of course, uh, you know, the Wii U, regular Xbox, you could hook up to HD at the time, right? Uh, through HDMI. Taking everything out from there into here is a big undertaking, especially because, you know, I kind of forgot how a lot of that stuff was set up in there. And so recently, you know, I started uh, selling off some of my gaming things. So just to provide a little perspective on the whole, you know, gaming thing, uh, I've been listing on eBay, and these are now my eBay shelves, where most of the gaming collection has sort of gone. This is a kind of a heavy stack, so, you know, I was primarily an Xbox guy, of course. And then, uh, so we move over, you know, of course, a little bit of retro thrown in there, a lot of Wii, a uh, couple on 64 games, of course, and then there's still a little random thing here and there. So, just to provide a perspective of, you know, a little bit how into it I was, plus, of course, uh, had a lot of emulators and such on the computer to play uh, games that were quite unaffordable at the time. And with this sell-off, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, like, man, you know, do I really need all these things, right? Because I haven't played a game in quite a long time. I, I think the last time I played a video game, I briefly touched on uh, Minecraft, you know, back uh, when it was popular on the computer a couple years ago. And then before that, I, I briefly played a little bit of Modern Warfare 2 at a gaming night, you know, in, in college. So, you know, regardless, I, I haven't touched, you know, video games in quite a long time, and so it's taking up a lot of space. And so I finally decided, okay, well, let's start packing some of this stuff up, because behind the whole TV setup was just an absolute mess of wires. I mean, everything's all tangled on each other. There's uh, an entire, you know, like two power strips, essentially, uh, just filled with all these different plugs from various devices. So what I have here <laughs> is a rough outline of uh, how the system works, and honestly this is just for me, not really for you, because I don't think that's going to be very legible. But essentially we're just going to kind of break down how this works and uh, the importance of it. So number one, uh, let's start from sort of the, the farthest out before we get to the actual playing. So the Atari 2600 right over there. Uh, essentially has a little output that's connected to an RF adapter. That RF adapter then screws into um, a sort of a adapter uh, that's coming from S-Video from the Sega Saturn. Okay, the Sega Saturn one is then plugged into the GameCube one. And then the GameCube one then screws into the back of the VCR. And uh, that's, I don't even know if it's called RF actually, but it's like the little screwy one you know you use for your cable box, right? So then the VCR, excuse me, has AV out, which goes into an AV switcher. That AV switcher also hooks up the FC Twin, which plays NES and SNES games, as well as the Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64 is currently hooked up 
a lot of this gaming stuff actually is uh, out of commission right now. <laughs> that's why we're playing Mario for the purposes of the demo, because I only had this set up once. So now from the AV switcher, that's going to an HDMI upscaler. That HDMI upscaler is going into an HDMI switcher. That HDMI switcher is also joined by the uh, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and the Wii, which of course also plays Wii games. There's only one spot left on that HDMI switcher, right? So now the HDMI switcher goes in, it plugs into the capture card. You've got an HD PVR2 right over there. Okay, that also connects into the computer. And pretty much everything's got its own power supply, right? It's quite a mess, I've gotta be honest with you. <laughs> but it's not too bad when you kind of talk it out in this fashion. So, HD PVR connects into uh, the TV. Then you're playing it and you're thinking, okay, well if you're on some of these consoles that are going through object after object after object, right, till it finally gets to the TV, I mean, doesn't that increase your latency? You know, doesn't that make things terrible? I would say, honestly, even playing like Atari games that require a decent amount of reaction time, you don't really notice it, <laughs> which I thought was always surprising. And so, you know, explaining the technical background of this wasn't necessarily the important part of the video. I think I, I sort of want to just touch on, you know, even though I said I, I was a bit of a you know lazy gamer back in the day, I did manage to do this, and I managed to do this twice. Um, and you know, they're drastically different, even though the, the you know core basis of it is the same. And I might keep some of this, uh, particularly, you know, just having sort of the VCR set up, right, to be able to uh, record, you know, tapes for people, right? That might be a nice little, little side hustle. But I think this sort of speaks to the mentality, right, that you're able to do uh, sort of a lot more than you expect, right? Because even though this isn't a lot of big technical know-how, for me, you know, being like a grade schooler, putting this stuff together, um, obviously it's a little more complicated than you would think. You know, I remember uh, going to like a Radio Shack or something, trying to find uh, one of these adapters or whatever, and I'm trying to explain the whole thing, you know, to uh, to the guy at the store, and like he's having a hard time tracking it out, right? And so it's just um, get out there and just kind of do stuff. You would be amazed if you're looking at a problem, you want to solve something, how easy it is to essentially just say, "Hey Google, this is what my problem is," and then you're just going to go out there and you're going to solve it. It's that easy, right? And honestly, you know, <laughs> how many people sort of have this use case where you're like, oh, listen, I want to play all these old consoles in HD. You know, I want to scale this all the way up to 1080 and I want to be able to record it to put out these Let's Plays. And frankly, the answer is, well, probably close to zero. Nowadays, a lot of people, you know, that are making this online gaming content, well, what are they doing? They're playing on PC, makes it a lot easier. Or for classic stuff, they're using emulators, which again, they're playing on the computer, makes the whole thing easier. <laughs> so. You know, physical gaming is kind of dying, and the use case of this whole setup practically extinct. But I think it's a nice relic of the past, and uh, hopefully it'll generate a fair amount of cash as we move forward. Uh, you know, selling some of these things off, which, again, you know, a little bittersweet because of how much, uh, you know, time I've, I've spent with all of these things. But, hey, ultimately we move on, we get different hobbies, and that's just sort of how it goes. Hey guys, a good morning! It is the Nintendo Kid coming at you with the first. Oh, I'm so happy I got first now. Uh, life complete. Let's play on his channel, by the way. Super Mario 64 has been done a lot. But, first, let's play on my channel. Here we go, let's start a new world. Super Mario. Oh, wait a minute. Cutscene. Hey Mario. Oh, this is when she was still called Toadstool. Yeah, that was her um original name in Japan. Then they changed it in America. I'm not sure if they still use Toadstool. But I think they prefer it. This is her castle. Uh, as you can see, there's Lakitu flying around with a camera. He's the guy that's supposedly giving you the view, so Mario's not in a, uh, you know, first person perspective. Although you can get it kind of close to that. So, um, yeah. Here we go, just got out of a pipe that's now gone forever. I'm gonna end this video off here, instead of using the 15 minute, uh, time limit. Because, you know, I just think this is a good place to end. We did our first mini boss. So, uh, yeah, this is the Nintendo Kids signing off. And so with that, 
you know, uh, like the video if you enjoyed, you know, comment down below. Do you used to be a gamer? Do you have anything in your life this elaborate to do very menial tasks? Smash that bell button if you want to be notified about upcoming releases. And please, add some music to your day. Oh, I can't wait to see